it's Nikki here. I'm here today to do my spoiler-free review for the fifth installment in the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. As you can see, I have, again, the edition that my mother has. Um, some of our restrictions lightened up where I live in terms of the virus, and so I'm able to interact with her as one of our, the few households we can maintain physical contact with. And so I get the pretty volume again. Yay! <laughs> Being on my honeymoon, I actually just read, read through this juggernaut of a book in a day. Um, and it is honestly my favorite book in the series. <laughs> so much happens, so much is explained, and just you get so much context for the thing, the larger things at play that it just, I found it a very effective volume in the series. So moving on to my likes and dislikes, um, I'll do my likes first, three dislikes will follow. Uh, the first like I have is how the book and JK Rowling kind of deal with Harry's mood and mental health. Although I don't know that necessarily all of the specific mental health issues are dealt with 100% appropriately because I've never suffered from those issues so I don't know how well it was described. I do appreciate that JK Rowling took the time to show how the trauma is affecting Harry. My second like is um, showing how the truth isn't always what's accepted just based on like Harry and Dumbledore versus the Ministry and how the Ministry as a government is dealing with these issues to try to prevent mass panic. Then my third like <laughs> is the DA. Um, I really appreciated like the motivations behind it, what it was doing, and the confidence it was instilling in its members. I felt like it was really solid character work in terms of Harry's growth as well as in the Silver Trio and some of the background characters. And now we'll move on to my dislikes, which are very few because I love this book and even the ones I dislikes I have are very minute. First dislike is really the conversation that Harry has with Dumbledore at the end. And my second dislike is actually kind of like the Quidditch arcs and just like the involvement of Ron and Ginny and although I know it's like a really important part of his school arc and his school social life, um, I found that personally a lot of the Quidditch stuff in this book took away from a lot of the other stuff and really that's all I have and it's like things that I didn't mention my likes are like the pacing, the length, like the book wasn't tedious, the pace the pacing was really good, nothing was whatever unnecessarily dwelt on or rushed past, but those are just so typical for J.K. Rowling's books that 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 I didn't really feel like it was worth mentioning. Um, and with this, I will move forward onto the characters. This was a brilliant book for Harry. Um, it was a pretty good book for Ron and Hermione as well, as well as some of the, um, like the Silver Trio. This is where you get introduced to Luna. This is where you get a lot more interaction with Ginny and this is where you get a lot more interaction with Neville and I thought this book did a really good job expanding on their personalities as well as just building up Harry's and Ron and Hermione's a little bit as well just to give you a really more definite view of the char of them as characters. This, this book also did a really good job of creating characters that you love to hate. Like, I know Voldemort's gonna be the big bad but J.K. Rowling did such a good job with Umbridge that there's no way that you can read this book and not hate Umbridge more than Voldemort. Like, she was the everyday kind of evil that you just don't like dealing with, and I loved it. Loved how she was written, even though I hated her character. And that's really all I have to say about the characters. Um, I'll move up and quickly to my wrap-up, and I'll give you my rating. So as I said, this is my absolute favorite book. Uh, for me, this is a five out of, this is a five-star book. And there are so many reasons, but a lot of it has to do with the plot, the way Harry was dealing with his mental health issues after the death of Cedric and the fallout from the Triwizard Tournament. The other things I liked is how many things were introduced, like you get the Order of the Phoenix, you get a lot of history about the first rise of Voldemort and like the f what happened there that's getting people so scared and why this fear is why the Ministry is acting the way it is. I just... 
I think that this book did a really good job of setting the scene as a whole and showing the political world and showing the magical world at its at the or at the precipice of action making it its most vulnerable self. The overall tone, the overall pacing, the character work, the things introduced just came together in such a good solid flowing way in this book that I I didn't put it down. I literally sat down despite it being <laughs> a really thick book. I just I couldn't put it down and it just, it really is my favorite and there's nothing else I can say about it. And so with that, I will leave you guys here and stop ranting about how much I love this book. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.